Hey guys, I'm on Stream Ball today. So for today's video, we'll, I will be giving you guys my prediction for the 2022 Qatar World Cups. So yeah, pretty excited to do this, of course. You know, this is a very early prediction, I might add, but what the heck, I just wanted to go with it, give you guys kind of my opinion on who I think will win this World Cup. Um, of course, guys, uh, before I start the video, definitely subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't already. Click that red button right now. And I will put a link uh, towards, uh, you know, kind of this website, uh, you know, the Telegraph where, uh, you know, this uh, simulator is from. So I'll, I'll put a link down in the description if you guys want to try it out yourself. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into this. So, of course, uh, for Group A, we do have the likes of Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, as well as the Netherlands. And yeah, you could probably say this is an easier group than most people would say, I mean, out of out of all the other groups, it's probably one of the easiest groups. So for that reason, I think it's pretty easy to kind of get straight into it. I mean, I, I definitely have to say that if there's one team you have to go with, it's probably the Netherlands. So Netherlands, in my opinion, are definitely gonna be number one in this group. I don't think a lot of people would disagree with that, in my opinion. It's really debatable, you could say, uh, between in between the other three, because, you know, Qatar is the host, so, you know, they might have a bit of a home advantage going into this World Cup, but are they are they to the level of, you know, the African champions or to Ecuador? I'm not sure. I mean, Qatar did actually beat um, Ecuador, I believe, in 2000, uh, 2018 or 19, I believe, but, um, yeah, no, it is, you know, time has gone by, so I think for the moment, I'm going to stick with Senegal just because I have a, bit, a lot more confidence in them, and I think they'll get the job done, so, um, yeah, I'll be over Senegal. So yeah, I'll go with Senegal at second, and to finish it off, I do believe Ecuador will beat Qatar. So, will, will they beat them? It is one of the opening matches, actually. Ooh. Yeah, I think I, I think Ecuador would do it. So I'm gonna put Ecuador there and Qatar to sadly finish last. So yeah, that's my prediction for Group A. Uh, moving on towards Group B here. So, of course, this is a very big one here, uh, Group B. You know, very notable one, to say the least, with England, Iran, US, and, of course, the qualifier one, which is either Wales, Scotland, or Ukraine. I think for this one, you obviously have to go with England. Um, if anyone tells you not, it's, it's not England, uh, I don't know what they're thinking. Uh, this one is where it gets a bit difficult. You know, as an American fan, you know, I want to put the US in second, but I'm also trying to be very, you know, you know, kind of truthful, to say the least. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the sense where, you know, if Wales were the team that qualify, I do think they could pull one over the U.S. I mean, Iran is definitely a more difficult opponent than what most people, you know, kind of expect. You know, they did beat the U.S. actually in the 1998 World Cup 2-1. Uh, so they definitely have, you know, the upper hand in, in terms of history. But the U.S.A. definitely have a younger squad. And the only reason why I'm kind of skeptical about them is that they're just not experienced. They have no experience in that squad. They actually have the youngest squad going into this World Cup, if I'm not mistaken. Like an average of 24.3, I think is the statistic, but um, is the percentage there. But uh, you know what? I, I got about my boys. I'm going to say the US, but this is one of those where it could. Eat. I, I wouldn't be surprised if the US don't uh, come like further. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they come, uh, if they get knocked out. But for this, for the purposes of this, I'm going to go with the US. So. I'm going to U.S. and I'm going to say it's Wales. So I'll say Wales and then Iran. You know, it could be not Wales. It could be Ukraine or Scotland. But I just think Wales have the best chance of making it actually through to the group stages. But anyway, here we go. We move on now towards Group C. Um, so yeah, for Group C, we do the likes of Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. Yeah, straight away, I'm just going to go for Argentina. Pretty easy. You know, they're, they're probably one of the favorites actually in this World Cup. So I've got to go with them there. For the second one, it's debatable because you can obviously go for either Poland or Mexico. But uh, I think Poland are actually very underrated. I know obviously they beat uh, Sweden in the qualifiers, but I think they might have the upper hand against Mexico. You know, Mexico aren't the same team that most people think they are. So for that reason, I'm actually going to go Poland, then Mexico, and then of course to finish it off, Saudi Arabia. So yeah, that's what I'm going to go for Group C. Moving on towards Group D, guys. So for Group D, we do the likes of France, uh, you know, Denmark, Tunisia, and of course the qualifier two, which I believe is between Peru and the winner of. No, actually, no. Is it? Is it Peru? See, this is where I get a bit confused because there's there's three qualifiers. But if I if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I do believe this is the one where it's. I believe it's the winner of Peru. Um, Peru versus Peru will face either Australia and. UAE, and whoever wins Australia UAE will then face Peru in a playoff. Whoever wins that game will then qualify. So I think for that reason, I got to go with France, obviously the top of the group. That's pretty simple. I don't think you can really um, debate that in that sense. 
you could argue, I mean, there is an argument that Denmark could actually beat them. D don't get me wrong, but I, I could definitely see Denmark, you know, it might shock a lot of people, but I can definitely see Denmark um, maybe pulling a surprise uh, sp surprise result against the French. But for the purposes of this, you know, it's a very early prediction. I probably will go Denmark finish second. And then I'll most likely actually go with um, the quarterfinal two actually finish third. Um, and then, yeah, Tunisia to finish last. So, yeah, that's what I predicted for Group D. So, let's move now a bit a uh, bit downwards uh, towards Group E. So, for Group E, we do have the likes of Spain, Qualifier 3, Germany, and Japan. I think this is a very easy group to predict. I mean, of course, Spain and Germany will qualify, in my opinion. It's just the order in which you put them in. For the purposes of this, I think... I See, for, for some reason, I have a gut feeling that Germany will actually do it. So... I think Germany actually might come first in a group, and then Spain. I just think that they might do it. I don't know why. They, they haven't had the best of um, success against Spain in recent history, but you never know. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, for the third place, I think you just go to Japan, and then they finish off the inter uh, uh, in, yeah, the last quarter uh, qualifier, which is between, I believe, Costa Rica or New Zealand. So yeah, I can definitely see one of them finishing last in that one, in that group. But um, I don't know, moving on towards uh, Group F, Group F, I think you just have to go for, I think, Belgium, then, yeah, I'll say Croatia, then Morocco, and then Canada. It's it's a very tough group to, like, really predict. I mean, Belgium, you can definitely say, is the favorite. But the other three, you never know. You never know. I think I'm just going with Croatia just in terms of what they've done within a world, in previous World Cups, but also just because of the players they have. I think they just have a bit more quality compared to the other two nations. But, uh, but yeah, here we go. Group Group G, which I consider actually the group of death. Um, there's not actually a, like a, a straightaway group of death. Um, you know, in, mo in the, you know the previous World Cups, you know, you can obviously tell what is a group of death. But but in this one, it's not really a, a, mo a notable one. But if I had to say which is you know the group I think is the mo most difficult, it's definitely Group G with Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, and Cameroon. So for that for for that purpose, I think I'm gonna go with Brazil, and then surprisingly, I'm actually just keeping the same order that it's like right here. So I'm gonna go with Serbia. Switzerland and then Cameroon. So yeah, I think Serbia could do it and then can qualify to the next round. But anyway, moving on towards the last group here, which is Group F. Uh, for Group F, it's it looks difficult, but to be honest, I think Portugal and Uruguay have that in the back. So it just depends again on who's gonna you know come first and second. Um, I don't know. I mean, Uruguay did beat you know Portugal in the last World Cup. You know, two one. It was uh, through two goals from uh, Edison Cavani. Um, I don't know, I just feel Portugal could do it. I I just have a strange feeling Portugal can top this group. So I'm gonna say Portugal, then Uruguay, then Korea, then Ghana. That's what I'm gonna go with. But anyway, that's it with the group stages now. So we're now moving on towards the round of 16. So here we go. Round of 16. So the first quarter, uh, the first uh, matchup is Netherlands versus the US. Now, uh, sorry. Had to hold my breath there, but um, yeah, this is a difficult one to choose. I mean, obviously, I don't want to be biased in this situation. Um, I can tell as a US fan, we're definitely not the favorite, we're not going to be the favorites to go into this game. And to be perfectly honest, I think the Netherlands have to kind of prove themselves um, going up that last Euros. You know, they, they got knocked out in the round of 16 as well against who was it? It was against, um, I keep forgetting, uh, was it Switzerland? No, it wasn't Switzerland. No, uh, Switzerland made it to the quarters. There's a team that, that beat. Oh, see, I, I keep forgetting. There were so many teams that just did that pull up sh so many shock wins. Um, I can't think of it. I can't think of it. Let me. Was it Austria? Maybe. I, I I don't know. I just can't think of it at the moment, guys. But do let me know in the comments because um, I have forgot right there. But um, yeah, I think I just have to go for Netherlands because they did get knocked down the round of 16. U.S. Look, they have a young squad, but I, I think hopefully they'll do much. I think they'll try to reach for the quarterfinals. I think from the next World Cup. That's really the aim. But. Um, yeah, the good experience within this World Cup is within the knockout stages is really all I can ask for as a United States fan. But um, yeah, here we go. Netherlands is selected as the first winner of that one. Argentina and Denmark, a very it, a lot tighter match than what most people would expect. I think a lot of people would say Argentina to have that on the back, but Denmark don't get don't don't rule them out. They got to the you know semifinals of the Euros. A very good squad. I mean, obviously, it'd be great to see Christian Eriksen play once again for them. So it. It's a weird one because I mean I I want Denmark to actually do well in that game, but I just think Argentina, 
yeah, the depth of the depth that they had. I I, I think I have to go for Argentina. So yeah, Argentina, there you go. They'll win that one. England Senegal, easy. I'm just going England straight away. No debate. Uh, I'm not really going to say why. I just think England have a two dominant team for that. So yeah, there you go. Same with France against Poland. I think it's just it, those are very similar kind of um, games. I just think more depth. Uh, between both England and France in both those uh, matches. Moving on towards uh, yeah, this one between Germany and Croatia. It, it, again, very similar, I think, towards the Argentina-Denmark one where you can't really rule out Croatia. But yeah, I just think Germany will be too strong. So got to go with Germany there. Brazil, Uruguay. One of the most, I'd say, notable ones you could say within the round of 16. Probably one of the most... Difficult? No, I wouldn't say the most difficult. I think the one next to it is, but I think Brazil have it in the bag. Got to go for Brazil, but uh, I, I don't. I wouldn't mind seeing you know uh, Darren Nunez, obviously the Benfica player, you know, kind of do his bits there. I'd like to see how he does uh, uh, within that Uruguay side, because obviously he'll have to compete against Edison Cavani and Suarez. So it'll be interesting to see how he fits within that squad. But uh, yeah, I just think Brazil have such a yeah such a strong squad. I mean, Richarlison, Vinicius, Neymar. Anthony, yeah, I mean, their attack is just too strong. But so, anyway, moving on towards uh, match 55, Belgium versus Spain. Now, this is probably the most difficult one to actually predict, I'd say, within this, within this section. But I'm actually going to lean towards Spain. See, I, I want to go with Belgium badly, really badly here. But I don't know. Maybe it's because of what Barca are doing so far, or maybe because of just how well Spain have done in recent competitions. I'm just leaning towards Spain, but uh, guys, I wouldn't be surprised if Belgium put, you know, get the win. Not at all. I think Belgium actually have the capability to do it, but I don't know. I just think Spain, yeah, I gotta go to Spain. I gotta go to Spain. But uh, anyway, here we go. Uh, match 56, uh, Portugal versus Serbia. Quick, I'm gonna go with Portugal. Easy, said and done. Uh, I think Portugal will get, get the revenge on Serbia after them, you know, kind of knocking them into the playoffs. Um, uh, so yeah, I think that'll be a good win for Portugal and kind of get some revenge there. But uh, anyway, here we go towards the quarterfinals. So yeah, here we go. First quarterfinal, Netherlands versus Argentina. A rematch, you could say, of the semifinal we saw in 2014, where Argentina did get the upper hand of it, upper hand against them in the penalty shootout. But uh, will it be the same results? Yeah, I think Argentina will do it. So I'm going to go with Argentina there. I just think it's going to come down towards these small factors, but... I think Argentina can get the job there. I just think Netherlands have also a younger squad as well compared to Argentina. More experience, I'd say, in a lot of positions. So, yeah, I think I have to go with Argentina there. Germany, Brazil. Now, see, a lot of people here would go for Brazil. But Germany have had the upper hand against Brazil so many times. But Brazil will be, like, you know, wanting yeah, to get revenge, obviously, after that notable 7-1 defeat in 2014. I don't know. It's one of those results where I think most people will say Brazil, but I can see Germany winning it. So, I don't know. I think... Do I go with it? Uh, nah. I, I, I gotta stick to my guns. I'm going with Brazil. I I just don't think... I, I think Brazil actually might do it. I just think Brazil might edge that. So, yeah, I'm gonna go with Brazil. So the next one, probably one of the most hardest ones uh, from a <laughs> European standpoint, um, England versus France. Gosh, that's like, man, that's like, that's ridiculous. Like the, the call that, I mean, both sides have incredible depth. I mean, both of them are doing well. A lot of players are in form. Yeah, that's gonna be a very smart margin of like, you can't really make too much mistakes in that game. I, I think I wanna actually sway it, but in my head, I mean, I've been the, most people will actually say France to win that game, but I actually think England could do it. I really think England could win that game. So for that purpose of this, I'm actually going to say England will beat France. So um, yeah, that might surprise a lot of people, but I do think they can pull the uh, pull pull the win, pull the dub, to say the least, uh, within that game. But uh, moving on towards the last, uh, of course, quarterfinal, we do have Spain versus Portugal. For this one, I'm going to set it easy. Easy said and done, I'm going uh, Spain. I don't think Portugal will be able to go in. I think they'll rely too much on single talent. So for that reason, I'm going to go Spain. So yeah, here we go. The semifinals, we do the likes of Argentina versus Brazil. Oh, I mean, that's just a tough one. Of course, you know, this is what we see normally within. This was the Copa America final, of course. And Argentina did get the upper hand. 
I just don't know. It, it's going to be very difficult to tell who's going to win this game. I mean, see, all the he all my head is saying is just choose Brazil. Choose Brazil here. But I don't know. My gut's telling me Argentina could get the, get the job done. Uh, do I say, do I rely on my head or my gut? You know what? I'm going to go with Argentina. I'm going to let the, uh, the shock. I'm not going to say the shock win because you're not going to be surprised they win that game. But. I think most people might say Brazil. So I'm going to say Argentina for that one. And then, yeah, England, Spain. Gosh, I mean, this is just... See, I think... I want to say England here, just because they've had more experience in the recent tournaments. They to get through the semifinals and then obviously you know, get to the final for the Euros. But, I don't know, I, just, I, I can just see Spain doing it. Uh, I, I, I just have a funny feeling that Spain can... Can jump that hurdle, you know, kind of uh, surprise a lot of people up in that game. So, yeah, I'm gonna say spam. I'm gonna say spam on that game. <sighs> yeah, that's a tough one. That's tough on the call, but yeah, I'm gonna go spam. But here we go, guys. This is the final Argentina versus Spain. I mean, if I, this is this is a tough one to predict, guys, but. I'll be perfectly honest, my mind is set on one team here. I I just can't see the one the other team kind of out beating them. So yeah, I'm gonna lean towards Argentina. So there you go, guys. Argentina is who I predict will win this next World Cup in Qatar for 2022. So Guys, let me know. Let me know in the comments right now if you agree or disagree. Let me know who you guys actually think will win. Let me know right now. And if you guys haven't already, subscribe to the channel right now, guys. I'll give you guys more content like this in the future for sure. But uh, yeah, I love these videos. But yeah, there you go. Watch Tina. Then they can do it. Then they can do it. But anyway, guys, see you guys next time.